What's up, YouTube friends and family? Today I got something that I'm sure most of us have seen before, but um, not something that I don't rip a lot. I'll say that. It's a, a Walmart kind of repack product, so retail, and it's championship collection for basketball from, if you can kind of see there, let me get that to focus. There you go, from the MJ Holding Company. So they purchase from the manufacturer or from secondary market, so for, pretty much from anyone. And um, they just kind of repack all these stuff. They make a bunch of different products. And usually you see like a few per season. So like this one, there's a purple one last year that had prism packs from Giannis's rookie year that uh, I bought as many sales as I can. And I actually got a lot of prism packs, but I didn't get any Giannis, unfortunately. I did get this though. Where is it? Uh, I did get these old Depot ones. So I did rip those packs, but no, no, no Giannis, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is $19.99, so pretty much 20 bucks. and I found two of these at my Walmart. I bought one. I really don't know if I'm going to like these or not. Uh, you two memorabilia cards. I wouldn't be surprised, surprised if they're just thrown in there. Sometimes they're just literally sitting there completely unprotected. Three fat packs and six factory sealed packs, all in this box. So they show contenders. They show an Anthony Davis National Treasures jumbo patch. They show 12-13, uh, some optic. They show all this stuff, and... That's great. That's the funniest one. A Luca from National Treasures and an Anthony Davis, Kawhi jump giant patch. So the reality is, although you see these, I would not expect these. I don't even know if these are in the product, to be honest. Um, we'll open ours up now, but from my experience of ripping these type of products, you'll see, you know, Luka Doncic National Treasures rookie jersey and Kawhi Leonard rookie jersey or rookie patches, and you'll get like a Mike Bibby single color unsleeved relic i think once or twice I've had, mine was sleeved out of like a bunch of boxes i ripped so you know know that it's in a way like somehow some kind of falsely advertised in a way because i really doubt that that luka Doncic is in there and if it is then i'm stunned because that's not a cheap card to put in 20 dollar boxes i've also never heard of anyone hitting crazy out of these but you never know you really just never know and let's see what we get so the big reveal i don't know if this is fire maybe i'll go get the other one but let's look inside here so let's kind of pull out what we have we have 15 16 donruss fat pack Carl Anthony think towns here 16 17 threads so these two were super common in the first one i did and then complete <laughs> 15 16 complete all right, then our packs are, I don't even know what this is, Collector's Choice Basketball. All right, I don't know too much about that one. Collector's Choice Basketball, so now I'm thinking it's not that good of a pack. Skybox Series 2. Uh, we have an Optic, I think that's a retail, and then there we go. So here we go, let's see. We have two. Optic, and here's our jersey cards. Literally just thrown in there, no sleeve, no nothing. Chris Webber and Tyson Chandler. Um, you know, nothing crazy from Upper Deck. Game worn warm up, or game used warm up, and yeah, all right. I mean, I, I would like them sleeved. I mean, it's, it's okay, I guess. Don't expect any boomers from the from the mem cards. First, these packs go. These are definitely retail or fast break, something like that. Uh, let's see. You can see right here. So, yeah, um, these are like the retail ones. I'm pretty sure. And then more optics. So this is a lot of optics. Better than getting Skybox. And this is also the optic one. So we'll do these ones and these ones like this. And then these rando packs here. If you guys know anything about these, please do uh, let me know. Because I've never even seen these before. Then again, I never collected. Um, I never collect during those years. Uh, I don't even know if I was born for some of these. But all right. <laughs> and if you know about this stuff and you see me hit something actually, you know, worth something, please do fill me in. You know, we're, we're in this together. I half the time. With this older stuff, don't know what I'm looking at. Jeez. 
Look at this. PJ Armstrong. Brad Daugherty. Ricky Green. Darty. Darty. You know what these remind me of? These remind me of the Donruss from 1718. Yeah, Larry Smith's a checklist here. You don't see too many of those anymore. Detlef Shrimp. I mean, yeah, I, I wouldn't expect anything crazy. Vernon Maxwell crazy out of these. Um, let's say Brandon. Uh, Brad. There we go. I don't remember exactly what I said, but I feel like I said Brandon. It's, it's Brad. For clarification. So, I mean, I kind of don't think these packs are the best. Although, I would say it's kind of comparable to the football ones where you get all the Notre Dame packs, and these cards are st stuck together. Hold on, I need to... Alright. So we have this little sweepstakes. A little Daika of Hemolajuan. Why? Oh no, wait. Huh. Well, there's a Kimolaj one on this side, and this side's Gary Payton. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Um, okay. I don't know. Oh, you know what? Okay, there you go. <laughs> These things are just glued together. I thought it was like a kind of weird die cut. Alright, you know what? Off to a rocky start. Yeah, I don't love this older stuff too much. And especially in today's, like, uh, today's market, it's really not worth anything. So, yeah. Sam Perkins. And then three cards stuck together. Just a bunch of random whatnot. Michael Jordan. That's nice. I like Jordan. And just a bunch of other cards are just glued together. There you go. Alright. Soon we're getting to the more recent stuff and that is a little more, holds a little more value or potential value. I like this stuff. And it's all just really stuck together. Man. Okay. I mean, nothing crazy. That is another Jordan, same one we got. And more of this. Actually, I think it goes from here, actually. There's the Keem again. We, we almost got like the exact same pack. Let's see, is there a Gary Payton on the back? No Gary this time. Sorry, Gary. And see, I thought we had like a mem card originally, and then I realized that it's like, oh, all my cards are stuck together. I mean, you get the the gist of everything. This is oh, there's Shaq, one of my favorites. All just kind of like junk wax. All right, let's get into this since we've wasted a lot of time just looking at it. Um, if any of that stuff that I passed through was somewhat even like mildly valuable, please let me know because I have no clue. All right, we, oh, look, Depot Stucky. These cards are very bendy, very thin. Mellow, Courtney Lee, not to Eunice. Covington, Capella, Mayo, Beverly, Batum, Henderson, Gasol, K MKG, Nicole Aldrich. It's a throwback. All right, let's see. Hilliard, Jackson, Larry Nance Jr., Dante Cunningham. All right, come on. Get some great ones coming up. Mario blocked LeBron, Hazonia. What's this here? Jeremy Lin, NBA Care. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's a cool insert. NBA Care, Jeremy Lin. I like that. I'm a big Jeremy Lin fan, being Asian myself. And then. Our little gray border ones, we have Rondé Hollis Jefferson and uh, Rakeem Christmas. At least uh, Hollis Jefferson, he's still in the league, so that's good. I don't get why the pack is made differently, like in the tabs on different sides for some packs. 
We have a thick card. That looks like a filler though. We have just a bunch of base. And is it a filler? Yes, it is. Pistol Pete. Passing Kings Hardaway. Rated rookie Anderson, Anthony Brown, Kola, and Delon Wright. It's not a bad player. Grizzlies had him and then betrayed him to uh, the Mavericks. Speaking of the Mavs, all right. Uh, looks like we got oh a wood card in here. Pretty cool. Cool it's rookie. I mean none of this stuff is crazy and we have a Robert Covington and a, oh oh so we have a Robert Covington and a Sabonis wood rookie. You can also get Simmons ones, which is pretty nice. Insert. Base, base, and base, and double base. Tons of base. All right, now to the optic, what we've all been waiting for. It is retail, but you never know what you can get. DeMar DeRozan. Oh, Jason Tatum. See, Oh, Markel Fultz. It's not bad. All right. Not too bad. Joel Embiid. Nilkina, Buddy Heald, Hollow, and a Kogi. Alright, come on, bring the Luca. Bring the Jaren. Jeff Green, Mari Spellman, we have Andre Drummond, League Leaders, and DJ Augustine. Alright, so, I mean, this is just a bunch of random whatnot. Some rookies in there, yeah, but like the main highlights would be. Why is Tatum and this Fultz? Sabonis isn't bad either. Um, and once again, if you know anything about those cards, let me know. So the big five, or the fab five, we have Mr. Chris Webber, timeout. Tyson Chandler, Sabonis, Fultz, and Tatum. Um, that, I would say, is about what you should expect. I mean, while I haven't opened others, I would say this is pretty on par. You get, you know, those junk packs. A um, few of those, you get some older retail ones, some fat packs, and then two kind of unprotected random mem cards. Chris Webber's not bad, but I mean, uh, don't expect your mem card to be some high value thing, as well as your your packs. I mean, it's kind of just like a kind of maybe for like uh, starter beginners, definitely not more of a budget product. You're not getting a ton of value. I would definitely recommend just actually get a blaster and you know try to look there because you're not gonna get a ton of value from these. Uh, trust me, I've, sp I've ripped tons of these ones. So that's going to do it for this video. This Tatum takes the cake. Jason Tatum, cool stuff. So that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.